and subscribe to my channel. Please do so right away so that you can receive what you haven't already. <laughs> For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never A few moments later. Hello! Sa mga kristyano na nabakunahan, panuorin nyo to. Taong 2021 na nabakunahan ako, sa totoo lang, ayaw kong magpabakuna sana pero wala akong magawa kasi buong mundo naman po nasabi nila hindi daw makabiyahi kung walang vaccination card. At kailangan kong mapuntahan Sabi ko sa loob ko, ang mga anak ko sa lunsod, lalo na kapag may emergency na kailangan nila ako. Unang araw pa lang, pagkatapos kong mabakunahan, ako'y nilagnat ng tat tatlong araw. Sabi sa balita, may mga namatay daw mula nagpabakuna sila. Yung iba, lalong lumala ang sakit nila. At ang sabi pa ng iba, maaga daw mamamatay ang nabakunahan. Lalo akong kinabahan nung sinabi nila na mark of the beast ang bakuna. Nandun siyempre ang kaba at takot. Kaya na nanalangin ako noon at humihingi ako ng tawad sa Diyos. Tinanong ko sa kanya, Talaga po bang mark of the beast ang bakuna, Lord? Sabi ko nung nagdarasal ako. Pero pagkatapos noon, bigla pa akong nakaramdam ng um, peace. Nawala ang kaba sa aking puso. Maring magkatutuo man pero hindi sa panahong to. Kapag nananalangin ako, nililehans ko ang ulo ko at naniniwala ako na may awa ang Diyos. Naniniwala ako na nililinis niya ang virus na pumasok sa katawan ko dala ng bakuna okay panuorin ang susunod na video credit sa may-ari ng susunod kong video isang kristyano na nabakunahan din siya ay nanaginip kahit pakinggan natin ang mensahe ng Diyos sa kanya somewhere in February this year I had a dream and the Lord said something completely different which brought relief and joy to me. In my dream, 
It was like I was standing in the middle of a large crowd, and I was preaching the word of God to them. Many people were busy doing their own thing, and a few others were listening to me. Others also looked at me with a strange eyes. And even though that didn't make me feel comfortable, but I still continued to say what I had to say to them. While I kept preaching the gospel to them, I saw some demons who came to stand behind those who tried to pay attention to what I was saying. The demons I saw were very horrific. They looked dirty, and they had disgusting looks. They did everything to distract the few listeners I had gained. They tried to whisper something into their ears to take their minds off what I was saying. They looked very threatening, and it looked as if they didn't like what I was doing. No one saw them, but I did, and this made me really scared. But I stood my ground and prayed. Then I continued to share the message. In the dream, while I kept preaching, suddenly, I realized I was getting to the ground. I became very dizzy at once, and my vision became blurred. I couldn't see clearly again. I fell to the ground, and I became paralyzed. I couldn't move again. Then I saw people rushing to where I fell, and they picked me up. Then the next thing I saw was, I was lying on a bed and it looked like I was in the hospital. While I was lying on the bed, I saw a tiny light that appeared far away from the window, and it looked like the light was coming near the window. While it kept approaching the window, the light became bigger. They were two, and they flew like birds. Then finally, I saw them enter where I was lying. As soon as they entered the room, they were transformed into angels. One stood on my left, and the other stood on my right. The room was dark, but their presence brought light to the room, and it shined everywhere in the room. Then the angel, who stood on my left, touched my forehead with his finger, and he said, He is here to strengthen me. Then he said, The other angel, who stood on my right, is also here to deliver a message to me. Dreams are really spiritual indeed, because I remember clearly that they spoke to me in a strange language which was not English or even my native language, but I understood them clearly. He touched my forehead for a while, and I felt like a strong power had entered my body. It felt like an electric shock. As soon as he was done, the angel on my right came very close to me and held my two hands. He helped me sit on the bed while he stood beside me. Then he gave me a white Bible and asked me to open the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 18. I was shocked to see what was written there. I have read the Bible so many times, but have never come across this particular verse. Let me read from the King James Version. They will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Amen. So in the dream, I read it out to the angel. And when I finished reading, he asked me, Why have I allowed myself to be filled with so much fear and grief? Why have I allowed the world to put me in a position I do not want to be in? He said, The children of God must not live in fear, even when the devil strikes against us. He said, The Bible has been given to us as a guide and a weapon to overcome anxiety and in fear. He said, any child of God who lives in fear and worries, do not read the Bible. He said the Bible is the word of God, and nothing can overcome it. Therefore, we should always use it to fight our battles. He told me that if we neglect the Bible and continue to live in worry, it's the same as we have neglected the Lord. Then he told me, the Lord has seen how his children are grieving over the vaccine injection. And he said this would not have happened if the children of God believed in his words. He said, anyone who believes in the gospel of the Lord Jesus and has received salvation will stay unhurt even when they take a deadly poison. People who do not believe in the Lord may be condemned after taking it. But once you believe, you will be saved. He said the vaccine is not the mark of the beast. Christians must be wise as the servant. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Amen.
He made me aware that every piece of information going on about the vaccine was false, and we should not be troubled. The devil deceives humans in so many ways to put fear in us, and when this happens, many will be drawn away from the Lord, to seek protection and safety from other gods. That is the motive of the devil. However, we should look forward to the troubles ahead. For the Bible has already warned us about what is coming. He assured me that, when this happens, we should use the word of God as our shield. The Lord loves his children and does not want to see us grieving and living in worry. Then I woke up. Thank you for watching to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by forwarding it to all of your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's word in the days ahead. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer come what for. Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and